Yo, what is going on guys? It's Gary and today I'm going to you guys a new tutorial on a nice little esports and jersey mock-up kind of thing for uh, advertising. And honestly, it's just really simple. It's really nice and clean. It's a lot of a lot of things that everyone should know how to do is kind of make advertisements like this. So it's just kind of a more like a more important thing on my channel. So as you guys know, summer's coming along really quickly. Uh, finals for school are happening. So that's why I'm not uploading as frequently as I was. But uh, I'm going to be trying to get my tutorials back on schedule and try to get everything back flowing. And also, it's summer. So as I said before, you know, it's really hot out. So, you know, my room's going to get really hot. So I'm probably not going to be in my house the whole entire time just kind of doing these tutorials. But that's not important. So basically, let's get right into it. We're going to have a jersey right here. This is for Avalanche Esports, the team I'm the head design of. And then we have Sex or Six logo. So honestly, if I was you guys watching this video, I would just watch the whole thing through perfectly and then go do it yourself. Because I'm going to be using a pack called the Obey pack. I bought it on Selfy a little while ago. And a really awesome pack. I, I use it a lot for a lot of things. So what you guys want to do, you can guys go buy that in the description below. Or if you guys want, there's going to be links around YouTube. Probably where you can find it for free. I'm not really kind of advising that, but it's going to happen no matter what. So basically what you guys are going to need for this tutorial is a jersey itself. And then just a nice little logo of the company doing it. And you want to make a new document. Let's just go 800 by 1000. So basically this is going to give you a nice little rectangle. And then you want to just make the background black. So now that you have that, you want to start off with the background first and then work your way inwards. I'm going to be grabbing the Avalanche jersey right here and drag it in. And then you're going to have the bigger one go in first. So it's like that. So basically, luckily enough, this jersey has a cool kind of pattern on the side like that. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm going to take it and I'm going to shrink it inwards so the kind of design comes through like that. And I'm going to leave it like that. So this is be pretty much creating the background for my jersey itself. I'm going to go in. I'm going to grab it again. The brand new fresh one so it's not all messed up. Drag it in. And then you're going to take it. Hit control T. And just shrink it. But uh, when you guys are shrinking this, do not worry too much about the, sh the amount you need to do it. It doesn't really matter. Just make it small enough so it doesn't take up all the space. Or uh, big enough so it doesn't take up all the space. I think this is good. You want to just put that in the middle and then have this here. So now that you guys have this, this is basically where everything comes together. You want to make a new layer under that background layer. And just zoom in, kind of grab a little nice ellipse and make it black and make an oval like this. So about the same kind of width. And then you want to bring it down and then you want to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And just put a Gaussian blur on it, like around 6.2. Go to filter, noise, and then median. And then put that to 7. After that, what we want to do is just take the opacity, shrink it down, and then zoom out. And you guys got pretty much a nice little shadow. You guys can move it around and stuff like that. So it kind of creates a little depth feel. So you can see in my mock up itself, I had a little jersey right here. So what I decided I was going to do next is I made a new layer. And I grabbed the uh, gradient tool and I made a transparent to black gradient and I just pretty much went like this and then I just messed with the kind of best settings that it has. I don't think I use soft light or overlay. But uh, basically you want to go through these and just find the best one you can. They all do different things so it's really just take your time out, go through them. Let me figure out what I did on mine. That's not it. Maybe I didn't put one on. Nope, probably not. But uh, basically, it's all it is. Just a nice little gradient. Um, you guys can substitute this for other things. I'll show you in a little bit. But you can just put on overlay, let's say. And then just kind of put the opacity to like 30. So next thing you guys want to do is create a nice kind of color feel. A kind of vibrant color for the jersey itself. So it's not looking so plain. Make a new layer. Grab a brush size, I'm like a size 30 or something, nothing too big, and grab the brightest blue you see on the jersey, like right here, and then bring it to the top right hand corner, and then actually make this a little tiny smaller, like 20, and just drag it around all the colored sections, so all the blue. And basically, what this is going to do is create a little glowing effect on the jersey itself. It just helps kind of bring out the color. So it just doesn't look so kind of placed there and kind of boring. 
but only do it on the jersey. Doesn't have to be perfect either. Then you guys can put on soft light. And then if you guys want, you can go to blur, Gaussian blur. You can make a little bit of a Gaussian blur if you really like. But uh, that's basically it. Zoom out. There's gonna be a little mishaps and stuff, but that's totally fine. Next thing you wanna do, make a new layer. And do the same thing, but what you wanna do is just grab a kind of bigger brush and just kind of click in like two or three areas and put these on a soft light as well and just lower the opacity. So now that you have that, you guys wanna start getting some lights down and some kind of uh, lighting effect. What I have in the description below also is gonna be my lighting pack. I did this just for fun. Download that, grab one of the lights in there. It doesn't really matter which one. It doesn't Honestly, you can do either one. They all do the same effect. And then just bring it and put it on over it so it kind of creates that drop feel. So you guys can see it has the whole entire, just kind of drooping feel. So now that you have that, I'm gonna show you guys a couple cool things you guys can do with this. This is pretty much when you guys wanna take it off on your own to start adding stuff. This is when I started kind of messing around. If I went in here and I went to my smoke section, there's gonna be a stock that looks like this. A lot of people have this stock in their packs. What I did is just brought it in and I put it on overlay, but I put it below the jersey. And then I took my eraser, kind of erase section. So I have like that cool kind of stungy, grungy feeling. So that's that. You guys can obviously go back in here and grab other things like actual smoke stocks. Like let's say you want to grab this one, bring it in. I don't know what's with my Photoshop lately. I can't like drag things in first try. It takes like two or three tries. You guys can like put this in like the corner or something. Make sure it's rasterized and kind of d delete a little bit of it. Something simple like that. And then you guys have this. So what do you want to do now? Let's just say you guys want to start adding more stuff. I'd go straight to the logo itself. So right here I have the sector or sector six, sorry, uh, logo itself. I'm just gonna drag these both in and then I'll have to shrink it cause that's the AI version. Put them in the middle or something. Don't make them too big as, as usually everything. And then bring this over, maybe shrink this one a little bit more. And you guys can zoom in. So if I was you guys doing this and you guys had logos like Turtle Beach, uh, Astros, something like that, or Arma Centrum, whoever makes jerseys, I'm keeping the same colors they usually are, so I know from a fact that the logo itself is a kind of a, a nice bright orange. And then you guys have a white logo, like that. So that would be the thing itself. I'm just gonna merge these two because I'm not gonna be editing them anymore. Just put them in the center. As you did with the jersey, you're gonna do the same thing with the text. You're gonna make a new layer under them and just kind of make a little oval Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then put it on noise and go to median. All right. And then just put that down a little bit. You guys can turn the opacity Your down as well. Beats. So you guys have this. So that logo looks a little bit too high. Move this down a little bit. So basically now you guys can go through packs and stuff, grab some stuff. I know a lot of packs have uh, just like random PNGs and stuff. Let's see if I can find out where I found these. No. Oop. Others? Probably others. Yeah, yeah, they are. I have rocks right here on the pack. So I just grabbed the really blurry ones, like the ones that create the depth feel. Uh, dragged them in. Just kind of placed them around. Like this. Kind of found out where the best ones went. It's really just a bunch of like trial and error with this. Hmm. So I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it like up here. All right. So you have this. Now what you can do is just go back to the packs. Now you have rocks. You let's say you want to add just a nice little effect on it, just kind of create the uh, exploding effect. If you go to sparks and stuff, you guys can grab stuff here. Uh, it's just really nice. I'm gonna grab this uh, lighting effect actually. It's a nice little kind of dusty one and wrong one. And I'm gonna put this at to the top. So 
Now, I guess, as I said before, I was going on about myself. I'm just going to grab kind of sparks and stuff. I'm going to grab an explosion stock, actually. It kind of creates a kind of cooler effect on it in itself. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one right there. And then I'm going to go grab some sparks to put behind the text so that everything kind of matches. Make sure to grab the sparks. Also, they're colored. They're not just kind of regular else regular old uh, white stocks so you guys have something like this and then let's just say you want to go a little bit more in depth with this you guys want to start adding kind of other stuff what you can do you can guys can go and get some light leaks if you guys know what those are uh phase studio has a pack about that i don't think i have any on here now but uh phase studio has a pack about that basically what they're only going to do is if i find one yeah, here's one all it is, it's just kind of like a nice light. And it will just pretty much brain up a little bit, like sections and stuff like that. So let's put one there, like there. You see, it just makes it a little bit more kind of appealing. So that's that. So now you guys have this. Let's just say you want to finish it off now. If you guys want to do it this way, you guys can do it this way. You guys can also do it a different way. I'm just going to take these and just merge them all because I'm not going to be saving this or anything. Make a new layer, and then I'm going to go to the little adjustment layers right here. I'm going to grab a exposure. I'm going to mess with the kind of gamma correction, make it a little darker. The offsets kind of keep it the same. Exposure, maybe it'll up a little bit like 0.44. And then you guys can go to brightness and contrast, make the contrast a little bit more, and the brightness just a little bit down. That's that. You guys can obviously mess with these with the opacity and stuff. And then I'm going to take this layer that we made, go to filter, blur, lens blur. And just put the blur to like it's five. And then you want to take your eraser and just erase. And then when you're done, you save it. And then you guys have a nice little advertisement. Obviously, it's not the same thing as this one. I did a lot more in depth with this, but this is just a nice little example. So that's it. Took 12 minutes. Not hard at all. Just really awesome tutorial itself. If you guys want to submit any of your tutorial suggestions or any video ideas, there's gonna be a link in the description below. Also, you guys can add my Snapchat. You guys can see like work in progresses and stuff. And June is gonna be a really nice month. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff coming out on my channel, a lot of stuff on my Twitter. So definitely go follow those and subscribe. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to go purchase kind of stuff like this, let me know in the comments below or let me know on Twitter or something. If you guys want to purchase an uh, advertisement for your channel, your esports team, anything like that. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And I'm Garrett. Peace out.